Boston Dynamics has just unveiled one of the most significant updates yet to their humanoid robot, Atlas. This time, it's not about how fast Atlas can run, how high it can jump, or how impressively it can do parkour. This time, it's all about how Atlas sees the world, and more importantly, how it understands it. Because for a humanoid robot to actually work in real-world settings like factories, warehouses, or homes, physical ability alone won't cut it. Atlas needs to perceive, to interpret, and to adapt. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another major update. You won't believe what Atlas can see now. Boston Dynamics shocks the world again. You're watching the AI Nexus, and as always, we're here to bring you every step of the future. Let's go. This update brings a massive leap in perception and adaptability. It's an entirely new way of thinking about robotic intelligence. Boston Dynamics is no longer just focused on the robot's limbs and movements. They're building a robot brain that can handle complexity, unpredictability, and real-world messiness. Atlas now has an upgraded perception system that allows it to do what humans do intuitively. Understand not just what objects are, but what they mean in a given context. In the latest demonstration, Atlas performs what looks like a fairly routine task. It picks up an engine cover and installs it onto a mock car engine. But under the hood, this task requires a lot more than just moving an object from point A to point B. The robot first has to identify the correct object among several possibilities. It needs to figure out how to approach it, grasp it securely, navigate to the installation point, avoid any obstacles along the way, and then place it precisely where it belongs. And it needs to do all of this without any pre-programmed instructions for that specific scenario. That's where the new perception system comes in. Atlas now has a richer understanding of its surroundings, powered by a combination of visual sensors, depth cameras, and machine learning algorithms. It doesn't just see pixels and shapes. It understands 3D geometry, spatial relationships, and even the functionality of objects in the scene. This enables the robot to make smart decisions in real time. It recognizes the environment not as a flat surface or a set of coordinates, but as a dynamic, layered, and actionable space. For instance, when Atlas approaches the engine cover, it doesn't just lock into a preset movement. It evaluates the orientation of the object, adjusts its grasp if needed, and dynamically plans its motion based on current conditions. If something changes, if the object has moved slightly or if something's blocking its path, the robot doesn't freeze or fail. It recalculates, it adapts, and then it proceeds with the task just as a human would. This kind of real-time replanning is a major milestone in robotics. Traditionally, robots have relied heavily on rigid scripting. They could perform extremely complex tasks, but only under very controlled conditions. Introduce a slight variation, and the robot would struggle or break down. What Boston Dynamics is doing now is tearing down that rigidity. They're replacing it with a system that's flexible, reactive, and more intelligent. The core challenge here isn't just sensory data collection. Cameras and LiDAR can provide a flood of information. The challenge is interpretation, figuring out what the data actually means and how to act on it. To solve that, Boston Dynamics has integrated sophisticated machine learning models into Atlas's brain. These models allow the robot to process its sensor inputs in real time, distinguish between different objects, estimate distances and orientations, and build a coherent understanding of its environment. This system goes even further by connecting perception directly with physical action. When Atlas sees an object, it doesn't just identify it, it also begins formulating a plan for how to interact with it. That includes calculating the best way to pick it up, how much force to use, and how to maintain balance during the movement. This tight coupling between vision and control is what allows Atlas to move so fluidly and perform useful tasks autonomously. Another subtle but critical element in this update is how Atlas handles the unpredictability of the physical world. Even in a controlled demo, the real world throws curveballs. Lighting conditions vary. Objects shift slightly. Unexpected reflections or textures can confuse sensors. Boston Dynamics has built robustness into Atlas's system, so it's not just reacting blindly to what it sees. 
it's actively interpreting and reasoning about the environment. That means the robot can adjust its behavior based on feedback, not just in theory, but in real-time practical tasks. And let's not forget the importance of physical adaptability in all this. The electric version of Atlas, which Boston Dynamics introduced recently, comes with more agility and a broader range of motion. This improved hardware gives Atlas the freedom to try new movements, test out different grips, and recover quickly from errors. But that's only half the story. Without an equally capable brain, one that can see, understand, and adapt, those physical improvements wouldn't go very far. What we're seeing now is a balanced evolution of both the body and the mind of the robot. This brings us to the bigger picture. Boston Dynamics isn't just chasing cool demos. They're building toward a long-term vision of general-purpose robotics. A humanoid robot that can walk into any environment and start being useful. That's the dream. That's the future they're working toward. And perception is the cornerstone of that vision. Think about the range of environments Atlas might one day work in. A factory filled with machinery and moving people. A warehouse with stacked inventory and constantly shifting layouts. A home with unpredictable clutter, pets, children, and varied furniture. In each of these places, no two tasks are exactly alike. The ability to generalize across situations, to perceive and adapt, that's what will determine whether a robot succeeds or fails. Boston Dynamics is making a bold claim with this latest update, that Atlas is becoming capable of that kind of generalization. Of course, there's still a long road ahead. No one is pretending that Atlas is ready to replace human workers tomorrow. But the foundation is being laid, and it's a strong one. Another crucial aspect of this development is how Atlas manages to link perception to goal-oriented behavior. It's not just reacting to sensory input, it's planning with purpose. When given a task, the robot sets up a series of internal objectives, constantly evaluating its progress and adjusting as needed. This sort of looped feedback system is what enables real autonomy. Atlas can take on a complex task, break it down into actionable steps, and execute those steps intelligently, even when the environment doesn't play nice. In many ways, this update marks the beginning of a new phase for humanoid robotics. We've seen robots perform scripted stunts, solve isolated problems, or navigate rigid environments. What Boston Dynamics is now showing us is a robot that can think its way through a situation. Not in the way that humans do, of course, but in a way that's powerful, practical, and increasingly reliable. There's also a psychological aspect to this progress. Watching Atlas work through a task like placing an engine cover, one starts to feel that this robot isn't just mimicking human behavior. It's beginning to exhibit its own kind of agency. That illusion of intelligence, backed by very real technical sophistication, is part of what makes this moment so compelling. The team at Boston Dynamics knows this is just the start. They openly acknowledge the challenges ahead. How much more needs to be learned? How many edge cases need to be handled? How real-world deployment will surface problems no lab test can predict? But their approach is iterative, grounded, and clearly working. In the broader landscape of robotics, this puts pressure on the rest of the field. We're seeing a shift from robots that follow instructions to robots that interpret goals. That's a profound evolution. And with each update, Boston Dynamics is making it more tangible. Atlas isn't just seeing the world now, it's understanding it. It's using that understanding to adapt, to act, and to make decisions. That's not just a feature, it's a revolution in how robots will operate in the years to come. But Atlas isn't the only robot evolving fast. While Boston Dynamics is upgrading perception and adaptability, over at Tesla and Figure AI, things are going insanely next level. One robot is learning from YouTube. The other is pulling double shifts in a real BMW factory. Let's talk about Tesla Optimus and Figure Zero 2, because what they're doing right now could change humanoid robotics forever. Let's start with Tesla. Recently, Tesla's AI and robotics team announced a breakthrough that fundamentally changes how Optimus is trained. Instead of just learning from direct human control or teleoperation, Optimus can now learn from videos. And not just any videos. These are everyday internet videos of people doing regular tasks, 
cooking, cleaning, folding clothes, moving boxes, things you and I might watch on YouTube without giving it much thought. This marks a turning point. Tesla has found a way to transfer what a robot sees in those videos, usually filmed from a third-person perspective, into something Optimus can replicate from a first-person point of view. That's a complex leap, because third-person footage doesn't show what the person doing the task is actually seeing. But Tesla's new AI framework is learning to bridge that gap. Right now, Optimus is learning primarily from first-person data. But this breakthrough means that soon, it could start learning from virtually any video on the internet. That opens the door to learning thousands of new tasks without the need for slow manual data collection. It's a major acceleration in development speed and scalability. What's even more exciting is how Optimus uses this knowledge. These new capabilities aren't being split up into different specialized modules or hard-coded routines. They're being handled by a single multitasking neural network, the same brain inside the robot, which interprets natural language commands and performs complex tasks. So, you can literally just tell Optimus what you want, and it will attempt the task using what it has learned from video demonstrations. This is no longer about programming a robot to do one thing really well. It's about creating a system that can generalize across many skills, guided by context and spoken or written instructions. That's a step closer to artificial general intelligence, embodied in a physical form. Tesla's strategy is evolving in a way that mirrors how humans learn. Watch something enough times, understand the logic behind it, and then try doing it yourself. That's how we grow up learning to tie shoes, fix a bike, or cook dinner. Optimus is being shaped to do the same, using visual and auditory input, reinforced through trial and error, both in the real world and in simulated environments. The next frontier, according to the Tesla Robotics team, is transferring learning from third-person internet videos. That means Optimus won't just learn from specially curated datasets. It could learn from anything publicly available online. Random tutorials, surveillance footage, home videos. If it contains a task being performed, Optimus could potentially learn from it. That's not just revolutionary, it's a full-on paradigm shift. Tesla also plans to improve Optimus's reliability through reinforcement learning in both real and simulated worlds. This self-play approach, where the robot can train itself over and over in a simulated environment before trying something in real life, is the same technique used to build champion-level AI in games like chess and Go. Now that same power is being applied to physical tasks. The implications are enormous. A robot that learns on its own, adapts quickly, follows voice commands, and executes tasks across multiple domains, all while using a single neural network, is the type of leap that could soon bring humanoid robots into everyday environments. Elon Musk has been vocal about the potential of Optimus. He said repeatedly that the robot may end up being Tesla's most valuable product line. And when you see this kind of progress, that prediction doesn't feel like hype anymore. It feels like strategy. The call to action from Tesla is also telling. They're actively recruiting top-tier AI talent with the message that if you want to work on the most meaningful real-world AI applications, this is the place to be. It's clear that Optimus is not some side project. It's central to Tesla's future. While some companies talk about the future of robotics, Tesla is building it and showing their work step by step. From learning through video to executing multi-skill routines with natural commands to running it all through one brain inside the robot, Optimus is no longer a concept. It's real, it's evolving fast, and it might soon be ready to work alongside us in homes, factories, and beyond. But while Tesla is making headlines with intelligence and learning breakthroughs, another robotics company is making waves in the field with real-world performance. Figure AI is not just experimenting, they're deploying, and the results are jaw-dropping. Over at BMW's manufacturing plant, something historic just happened. A humanoid robot, Figure 02, completed back-to-back 20-hour -back shifts on the X3 production line. No gimmicks, no staged demo, just a humanoid robot doing real work for real hours in a real-world factory. That moment marked a world first. Before this, Figure 02 had already been doing 10-hour shifts for several weeks. 
That alone was impressive. But to go double that in a single run? That's not just an engineering feat. That's a signal to the entire industrial world that humanoid robots are ready to join the workforce. This isn't a lab test or a simulation. This is figure 02 working side by side with human employees, performing critical tasks on an automotive production line. It's navigating the same challenges that human workers face. Unexpected changes, variations in components, shifting conditions, and still delivering consistent performance across hours of labor. That's what makes this so different from traditional factory robots. Most industrial machines are fixed in place and only capable of one repetitive motion. They require precise setup, custom programming, and expensive safety infrastructure to make sure humans stay out of their path. But Figure 02 doesn't need any of that. It's mobile, it's adaptable, and it works in human spaces. It doesn't replace the factory. It integrates into it. This level of flexibility and reliability hasn't been seen before in humanoid robots. The fact that BMW trusted Figure AI enough to run its robot for back-to-back -back shifts says everything about how far the technology has come. At the center of all this progress is Brett Adcock, the founder and CEO of Figure AI. He's been very open about the mission. He doesn't want to build flashy robots for show. He wants humanoids to become productive workers that can be dropped into today's labor force. And based on this recent milestone, that goal is rapidly becoming reality. What makes this even more striking is how Figure has approached development. Instead of chasing gimmicks or trying to mimic every aspect of human motion, they focused on building something that's useful. They built a robot that can handle long hours, adapt to common manufacturing tasks, and do it all in a way that businesses can immediately benefit from. And it's not just BMW that's watching. This 20-hour shift is going to send shockwaves through every company facing labor shortages or repetitive task fatigue. If one figure 02 can do this, then what happens when there are 10? Or 100? Or 1,000 of them? This isn't the future. It's today. So now we've got two massive developments happening almost simultaneously. Tesla is building the smartest robot in the world, one that learns from the internet, thinks on its own, and performs a wide range of tasks on command. And Figure AI is building the most hard-working robot, one that already fits into our world and is proving itself every single day on the factory floor. Both of these robots represent different paths toward the same destination, a world where humanoid robots are not just assistants or novelties, but essential members of the workforce. And here's what's really wild. This is still early days. These robots are only going to get smarter, stronger, and more capable with each iteration. What we're seeing right now is the very beginning of a new industrial era. And the companies leading that charge, Tesla and Figure AI, are setting the pace for everyone else. So whether it's Optimus learning from the internet or Figure 02 clocking in at BMW, one thing is clear. The robot revolution isn't coming. It's already here.